Welcome to Chris Call. Today, we'll dig deeper into understanding what A2P10 DLC is, how it works, its benefits and importance, and a comprehensive registration process. Let's dive in. A2P10 DLC stands for Application to Person and 10-Digit Long Code. It's a messaging framework set by U.S. telecom carriers, enabling businesses to send A2P messages to their U.S.-based clients using a standard 10-digit long code phone number. It acts as a bridge between companies and customers, using a regular phone number for a more personalized and engaging messaging experience. This framework doesn't apply to U.S. toll-free and short code numbers. Additionally, companies, U.S. and non-U.S. based, sending text messages to their U.S. based clients, example, alerts, reminders, promotional texts, etc., must register their phone numbers, brands, and campaigns with a third-party entity called the Campaign Registry, also known as TCR. The TCR then determines your business trust score based on your profile, including brand registration, standard, low volume standard, or sole proprietor, and campaign registration, recommended, low volume mixed case. But what makes A2P10 DLC so significant? Well, this framework was designed to support high volume message throughput, increase message deliverability rate, promote transparency between businesses and consumers, protect the company's reputation from being labeled as a scam or fraud, and protect consumers against unnecessary spam texts, phishing attacks, and other security risks. But why is it so important for your business? Well, A2P10 DLC ensures your messages meet the industry standards and reach your target customers without being filtered out. It is the key to establishing a reliable and trustworthy communication channel with your customers. Besides, A2P10 DLC registration prevents costly non-compliance fees, carrier fines, or potential blocking. So, for A2P10 DLC registration, you're required to register your brand, followed by a campaign, providing valid business information along with other necessary details. Additionally, every registration entails certain charges, including one-time brand registration, $4 to $44, and campaign vetting fees, $15, plus additional charges in case of resubmission, and monthly campaign fees, $1.50 to $10 campaign. So what is the registration process? The process has two components, brand registration to declare who you are to the carrier networks and campaign registration to communicate what type of messages you send. Moving forward, the brand registration is categorized into standard or low volume standard brand and a sole proprietor. First, let's look at how the A2P10 DLC registration process as a standard or low volume standard brand works. You must register as a standard or low volume standard brand if your business has a tax ID or is not US or Canada based. To begin, log into Chris Call account, head over to settings, click on my numbers. You can find the message saying US phone users must complete A2P10 DLC registration. Click the submit button to proceed. Then, choose yes or no based on your situation and proceed. Selecting yes will take you to confirm your tax ID possession. So, tick yes if you do. Then proceed to the consent page displaying the entire registration detail. Then read and agree to the terms and click next. Provide valid business details in the form, including the full website URL, and click save and continue. Next, in the business address section, enter your valid business address, Chris Call account email, and workspace name. Then, scroll down, fill in the authorized representative's details, check the consent box, and click Next. Now, submit your brand by checking the required circles according to your preference, tick the consent box, and then click Next. Furthermore, create your A2P campaign by selecting your preferred use case and filling in the required details, including campaign description, sample messages, and end user opt in message. Finally, tick the consent box to agree to the terms and conditions, then click on Register A2P Campaign at the bottom to complete the A2P10 DLC registration process. To qualify for sole proprietor registration, you must not have an EIN employer identification number. Any business with a tax ID EIN is not eligible and should instead register for a low volume standard brand. Sole proprietor brands are limited to individuals in the US and Canada. To register as a sole proprietor, access the A2P10 DLC form will update when complete, then tick yes and click next. 
On the next page, select No, and proceed to be directly led to the consent page. Again, read the entire details, scroll down to the bottom, tick the box then click Next. Now, tick the Yes option, and after clicking Next, the brand submission page pops up. So, fill in the required details in the form, tick the consent box, and click Next. Finally, to create your A2P campaign, select your use case, fill in the necessary details, tick the consent box, then click on the register button. The campaign registry, TCR, reviews your information to verify your business is legitimate and assigns a 10 DLC number with a trust score. Higher trust scores mean higher delivery rates and message throughput, messages sent per second. Lower trust scores mean the opposite. Now CrispCall evaluates your paperwork and forwards it to its upstream provider, who confirms and reviews your case and completes the registration process, which might take 4 to 5 business days. For more information, contact our chat support and place your queries.